Emotions are not meant to be fought. Emotions are meant to be felt. Anger, pain, guilt, shame, fear, and all its different forms are emotions that have a function. They are not negative emotions. What we call negative emotions, they are actually your teachers and your bouncers. They are there for a reason. Hi guys, this is Mini Devan, and you're watching Health Side. Today we have with us positive action coach Chetna Chakravarti. Hi Chetna, how are you? Hi Mini, I'm doing good. So to begin with Chetna, please tell us how can one really identify emotions? So uh, it's not, to be honest, there's no rocket science to it. You feel what you feel. The problem is not in what you are feeling. The issue comes up in our language or the names that we have given emotions. So if I ask you, what are you feeling right now? What will you tell me? Um, I think I'm feeling elated. I'm feeling happy because I'm looking forward to this chat. So I think that's the emotion that my mind has uh, sort of captured. Right. So if you realize that you said elated, which was you trying to think of a name and then came happy, which is the reflex word that comes out. So we are hmm. either fine, we are okay, we are good, we are happy, or then we are anxious. These seem to be our reflex words uh, in recent times. We're overwhelmed. That's another reflex word, right? But you can identify your emotions simply by asking yourself, what am I feeling right now? And not settling for these reflex words. But having said that, Chetna, how can these emotions really affect one's mental health? So there's two things that happen, okay? The way you think, is how you will feel and what you are feeling will influence what you are thinking. It's a two-way street. It's not a one-way street. It's not that only feelings trigger thoughts. Sometimes thoughts will trigger feelings, right? So your mental and emotional state are linked. They go hand in hand. If you are thinking about bad things which is why negative self-talk or negative thoughts can pull you down so much because they will trigger fear anger guilt shame negative emotions right if you are feeling pulled down because you're not having a very good day something happened somebody said something to you um, something didn't go your way you're feeling pulled down you will automatically start thinking a lot of negative things you will start thinking in a not so bright direction okay so your feelings and thoughts influence each other you need to figure out whether the emotion is being triggered by a thought or whether today your feeling is triggering a thought but also uh, cheta we have heard that you know certain languages and these words as we are discussing also changes life altogether so what is this purpose of language what's really the significance of language Okay, how you express yourself is how your mind is also processing your thoughts and emotions, right? If you are angry and you start screaming, then the mind is sending your body into a state where it can support you through that screaming because it's obviously sensing a threat. So how you speak, how you express, the thoughts you think, the words you use, will affect your entire body's state emotionally mentally physically okay a uh, simple example when you are arguing okay when two people are arguing the one who is losing or the one who is trying very hard to prove a point will suddenly be out of breath and will suddenly go like <sighs> will need to take a big breath why because when yeah. you are stressed your body will hold its breath Okay, yeah. so when you start changing your language, you start triggering your mind to also perceive things differently. One is to say, I have anxiety. In today's day and age, when you are saying, I have anxiety, your mind is saying, I am ill. I need to go to the doctor. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's triggering anxious sensations in the body. But when you say, I am feeling anxious, there is a way for you to say, I'm feeling anxious. What am I worried about? What can I do about it? And suddenly hmm. there will be a different path. That's okay. 
so depending on how you are expressing what you are thinking and feeling can make a very 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 big difference but also chetna kehte hai na ki kehna aasan hota hai par karna mushkil so of course even if you tell someone that you know you sort of have to come back from this emotion to that and now that you have identified you know how to fight it but in generalized way how to really fight it how to deal with your negative emotions okay. how to reel on your emotions let back? me are let me people? let me rephrase your statement before you go any further emotions are not meant to be fought the moment you said that i have to fight my emotions your body has gone into threat zone emotions are not meant to be fought emotions are meant to be felt the illusion that we must be happy all the time is what is causing half our problem if we were meant to feel only happy we wouldn't have 40 other emotions programmed in our system if the software exists it's meant to be used angry pain uh anger pain guilt shame fear and all its different forms are emotions that have a function they are not negative emotions first of all positive and negative emotions those are words to remove hmm what you call positive emotions are my friends the friends i party with the friends i hang with the friends i go for movies with the friends i celebrate with. what you call hmm. my negative emotions are my teachers and my bouncers which means that if somebody is threatening me and i don't get angry how am i going to protect myself how is my body going to know there's a threat that means somebody will slap me and walk away and i won't do anything if somebody is constantly hurting me treating me bad and hurting me if i don't feel the pain if i don't feel the disrespect how am i going to do something about it what we call negative emotions they are actually your teachers and your bouncers they are there for a reason so don't fight your feelings accept it but having said that also another question that comes to my mind is um, since you mentioned while telling us about emotion that um, listen while you listen to your thoughts while you listen to your emotion so is it the emotions that control us or are we controlling our emotions um i don't think there's a control game we have made it a control game if you feel what you have to feel okay then you'll realize that your emotions are just giving you signals they are guiding you they're giving you messages every emotion serves a certain purpose anger is meant to tell you your boundaries are being crossed fear is supposed to tell you that there is a threat or there is an unnecessary risk guilt is supposed to tell you that you have gone against your conscience shame is supposed to tell you that the world uh, has labeled this as incorrect or your belief your belief system uh, is signaling that you have done something that is against what you believe in against your mm. model code or the world's model code right mm. um you shame fear anger pain pain is supposed to tell you that something is not right you're in danger of some sort or something needs to shift there's mm. a wound something needs to heal so every emotion has a function it's there for a reason that's an interesting way to put it um also chitna please tell our viewers about your series speak listen what is it about what are you sharing uh, in that series please throw some light on that as well so speak listen is a series on changing your language um and being able to express your emotions appropriately uh pretty much the conversation that you and me have had today is what speak listen is about except that in in every single video i break down one particular emotion so while you and me have had a very general and a very uh, top layer conversation about emotions and we've spoken a little bit of everything that's amazing thank you so much etna i think this has been great and all the viewers who would be listening to this will go back home with lots and lots of value addition today and i think um, in i am including myself in that list so thank you so much for being here thank you thank you so much many for having me uh to everybody who is tuned in the only thing i'll say is don't resist your feelings feelings are meant to be felt thank you Beautiful. so much for having thank me thank you